four friends from Sydney together, Adam, Danielle, and Aaron, and Lachlan, and spend the next year trying to get all the way around South America, anyway, anyhow. And we're off, across the island to Santiago de Cuba. It had been a tough first week in Cuba, but among the dancing and revelry of the former capital, we got over it and started falling in love with the place. Casilio um, San Pedro del Moro, which is an old fortress on the coast near Santiago de Cuba. El Moro was built nearly 400 years ago to protect Santiago from the pirates, but it didn't really work. The town was still ransacked. Some of the pirate spirit remains in Santiago. By the third day we were overcome with hustlers and made our escape to Barracoa. Barracoa swept over us like a breath of fresh air. The first place Columbus landed in the Americas, it's now a beautiful sleepy town with little to do but go out to the baseball. We're in Baracoa in the far east of Cuba and we're out of the baseball. And there's some dude we see. We're about to embark on a very steep walk up to a tabletop mountain. Once we get up there, it should be pretty lush. There's waterfalls to swim in, and I should get the most amazing view. But it's just a matter of getting up because it's like tabletop. So. Between the revolution and the cigars and the cars and Castro and Shea, it's easy to forget that Cuba is also a stunning tropical island. Reaching the top of El Yunque, or the Anvil, all we could do was look back in wonder at this incredible country, mysterious, frustrating and beautiful. Cuba is really vibrant. A very interesting place. I've never been to a country like it, but I'm very glad that I did go. The best time I had was probably in the Cusses, actually, with the um, with the families there, particularly back in Havana, we were, we were learning to salsa dance. We had a really great time in Baracoa. 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 Baracoa was really brilliant. Uh, it was the first place in Cuba where you felt like you could catch your breath a little bit. It's a really sleepy little town on the water. We had such a great time out there. We went. Uh, been hiking out in the tabletop mountain and climbed up to that mountain, which is a shit of a climb. Had this great view over the city. Um, beautiful, beautiful nature, good walks to do there. Santiago. Santiago. From Santiago, I think we started to have a really good time. We, um, 
Went out to check out a, a, the Spanish fortress out there on the point. Right out on the water looking out over these beautiful blue seas. Santiago itself was a really pretty town. We had Cuban cigars up there. A lot of hustlers there. We got hustled, hustled, hustled a lot in San Diego, but it's all part of Cuba. The dancing in the plaza at night was, was really brilliant, um, really energetic. It's pretty bustling, um, a lot of people there, lots of life going on. Trinidad. Trinidad. It's lovely, lots of nice, beautiful buildings, great music there. We went to um, this nightclub type thing that was in a cave, which is absolutely awesome. I've never seen anything like that before. Havana. I think that we weren't quite ready for Havana when we arrived. I think we arrived in a bit kind of shell-shocked. It's a very full-on city, um, a great city. It was just so full-on for us. We kind of walked around not quite knowing what to do. The cars there are so cool. Riding around in those convertibles and the really nice old 50s cars that are just so well looked after. Very, very cool. The food in restaurants and on the street, not that great. I, I never thought you'd get that many flavors out of chicken anus in the hand. <laughs> the food in the cusses was incredible. We had in Barracola these awesome prawns that were cooked in this coconut curry thing. Overall, I think Cuba has a lot to offer. I'm not much of a dancer, I'm not very coordinated, and I'm way too tall to stand in a crowd. And uh, fortunately, after our couple of lessons and uh, nights out, I think I've managed to possibly pick up something. Not a disease, something called dancing.